educational shortfall. Can you hear me, sorry? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, so on the UK um, website, you have shortfall um, occupational list where a lot of professionals fall under. Um, here you get to see the list of occupations in demand, which you could as well apply to necessary um, departments based on that. Usually you have some of the schools that, I mean, some of the organizations that sponsor and require all these um, services also listed online. So it helps you to reduce where you're going and what you are looking for. And then there's a last one, which is not so um, out of place because after your school visa, you are automatically um, allowed to also be an investor or change to whatever business you like. It's called the business investor visa for a lot of people that uh, actually feel they have the initial or the, the capital or the skill sets to run business. You could actually switch to a business visa to which is uh, an, another stable way of regaining employment and staying in the country and also helping to facilitate your, your settlement process. I hope I was able to add a few on that. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was so, you gave a lot of information and uh, yeah, thank you so much. We do appreciate that. Uh, okay. Um, I was on a question. I don't know if you can actually answer that too as well. I was asking in, next week, in what um, capacity the campus group can help in all of this. Okay. Now for campus group, we, um, uh, we employ students as ambassadors as it is right now, which were um, after school, they can grow to become our own workers, partners, and whatever they want to become in franchises. And we also help with job placements into key industries based on their skill sets, IT, human relations, engineering, medical line. We have a network of people that we refer students to. So um, obviously the capacity and the numbers in Nigeria is quite a lot. So we cannot say that we can cover everybody. Yeah. That, would, that would be obviously a lie. Um, in our only two way, we help students settle while they're in school and after school in this little placement. So that's what we do in our own little capacity. Um, I don't know if I answered you very well or there's a part you want me to say. Yes, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Essay, are you trying to say something? Oh, sorry, I said he answered the question. Very yeah, he well. actually answered yeah. the question, okay. yes. Yeah. Thank you. That's, that's, Let that's me on mute. All right, well, it seems more clearer. Thank you so much. Um, okay, uh, our next question is um, in reciprocation, how can uh, I, as the applicant, you know, be helpful to the objectives of campus group? <clears throat> okay, yeah, I just mentioned that um, as students, we have student ambassadors that work in campuses. Um, yeah. They represent our interests. They help us canvas for more students and uh, telling success stories. Because obviously, if you are not satisfied, I don't think there's a way you can sell the brand, which is Campus Group. Yeah. Uh, so we engage these students. It's a, a form of them learning on the job, them becoming more professionals and also earning. Now, I don't uh, believe that uh, there is any reason why people do not want to earn a little extra. And mm. um, we provide that opportunity for you to do what you love doing, enjoy what you're doing, and also get paid for that. And then there's this opportunity for you to become a full staff and grow into the business, like I earlier said. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay. On um, next question, we have like, um, okay, what are the opportunities available to me with a graduate visa? And is it different for my studentship status? Mm -hmm. Um, can you repeat the question again? Okay, the question asks this, um, what are the opportunities available to me with a graduate visa? And is this, I mean, are these opportunities, is it different from my studentship status? <clears throat> now, um, first of all, your student visa, if you check the offer letter, it's supposed to be a 10 years route to have settlement in the UK. Am I correct? Is yeah, you're right. Yeah. So your first, your you, the first visa, which is the student one, the tier four one, covers you for give or take sixteen months to two years, right? Yeah. yeah some people have sixteen months, some people have twenty four months. 
then you are entitled to a post study work visa, which gives you another two years to gain experience on the field that you have chosen. Now, the graduate route helps you become a master in the field that you have studied. You know, um, it it's it helps you perfect that skill sets that you have um, tried to. Um, how do I put it, cultivate the, your passion. It helps you drive that passion. And it also helps you get into the industry which you want to get into. Now, the thing is a lot of people go, they, they sidetrack based on the fact that, yes, we all know how the, the UK is. People want to do whatever job is available to make a living. Uh, but your graduate visa can help you when you study on your course so that you can actually be retained and employed on that same course. Mm. I don't know if you can still hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. like um, we are all like, well, mainly Nigerians here and Africans uh, and somehow want to go for the one that ends the most, which might not necessarily mean the one that you studied. Yeah. Going for what you study and what you learn is actually the best way to get a job on your line. Because don't forget, it adds to your employment history, it adds to your, yeah. um, it adds to your experience, yeah. it adds to your exposure, it adds to your comfortability dealing with those issues. Um, just, just imagine like you're, you're studying, for instance, now you're studying accounting and you're doing um, maybe your sales assistant in, um, um, which one should I call them, sports direct and all that. If you want to apply to my firm as an accounting firm and I see that you don't have any experience just the practical experience, it reduces my interest in you. I don't know if you understand me. Yeah, that's true. Right so well. being experienced and working in your line helps you to be employable in that graduate field. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope we do all understand. I actually got these points right. No, please, they should ask questions if they don't yes. understand. And if I'm not very audible, please let me know too. We can definitely hear you loud and clear. Yeah. Um, all right, thank you so much for that answer. And uh, okay, the next question is, um, how can I maximize these opportunities? You know, the opportunities you stated out in the previous question. So uh, it was asked by someone. So the question he asked was the one you just answered now, which are the opportunities available to me with a graduate visa and how it's different from the studentship status, which you just answered. So now uh, the same person is asked like, how can these opportunities um, be maximized? Oh, well, I will do it again. Do I feel the question you answered previously answers everything? Like it's incorporated. The I, was just, I was just going to say that too. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So we can actually move to the next one because I can see that too. All right. Okay. The next question says, um, does my chance depend on my location? Does location matter in all this? In all of this? I think sometimes it depends upon the location as well because if you will compare uh, London to Oxford or London to Cambridge, there are more companies, there are more agencies than London. And the uh, Oxford, Cambridge, that's a remote area and they don't have much companies and much agencies as compared to London. So if the student is living in London, after completing his or her education, they can find a good job here. Oh, More opportunities, um, yeah. All right, Salon, if I could hear you right, what you're saying is, um, are you saying people in London mm -hmm. have a higher hand? Most chance, great. They have more chances to other people in other locations. Is that what you just said? Um, can you repeat it? Did you say people in London mm -hmm. have a greater chance, have an higher hand? Yes. As yes. Against people outside London, mm -hmm. or is that what you mean? Yes, I think it, it's that uh, London has an upper hand as compared to the other cities, as there are more uh, companies as compared to the other cities in London, uh, oh. in UK. Sorry. UK. All right, all right. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for that. Um, okay, uh, I would like to know if anyone from the audience, if we have one or two questions who would like to ask, if there's something you would like to ask. Do we still have some other questions set out? But just for the employability um, issues, uh, I don't know if we have any question that we would like to ask. Um, there are just questions now. Okay. I have a question. 
Uh, regards, uh, I don't even do it. All right, it's a um, can you see why he asked some people to me? Uh, all right, sorry, Chantel. Uh, I don't know if you can please mute. All right, thank you so much, Chantel. All right, um, it's a I had to you this. Can go ahead. Okay, uh, regarding um, uh, what uh, I don't know, I'm saying campus London there. Yeah, sorry, I don't say, uh, mm -hmm. the name. Yeah, you said regarding uh, gaining experience, you know, like uh, me, uh, uh, we are in Middlesbrough, yeah. One thing we that challenged us when we came down here in terms of getting the job is we don't have UK experience. We don't have UK experience. You need the six months. You know, we just came in. Where do you want us to get the six months from if nobody employs us? Of course, our visa is showing when we came into the country. <laughs> it's not like you can uh, manufacture it. So a lot of persons, they have gone into, especially care, you know, so for me personally, uh, I have my background in education. I can teach very well. Of course, you know, teaching doesn't pay in Nigeria. So I opted into facility management. So coming down here, I got a facility job as a facility assistant, but I'm currently studying psychology, which nobody wants to, want to even bring you in because you don't have experience. So what do you do? Because the challenge is here. You are willing, but this is the roadblock. So how do you not gain this experience? Because we need this job to support our studies. Well, um, I, it's Atuma, right? Yes, Atuma. OK, my name is Charles. So you can leave the campus London there. Yeah. All right, Charles, yes, thank you. <laughs> OK, I understand you very well. And um, your situation is the same thing with over a million immigrants in this country from anywhere in the world. Um, when you come into the UK, you are definitely starting from ground zero because um, it's, it's a fresh energy and you need to get experience. And most of the first jobs you get are actually what we call the immigrant jobs, which helps you pay the bills and move your daily life. They are, they are actually not a career job. Now you study psychology and you have a passion for facility management. And you have no, it's not, sorry, it's not passion. I, I have the experience as a facility yeah. manager back okay. in Nigeria. Yeah. Now, from where you are now, you probably there is lesser chances for the psychology employment as against yes. facility management. Am I correct? So what 